Welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Wabosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. What up? <laughs> t-shirt reference! Gang gang! You can get this t-shirt from boshatube.com. That was a shameless plug right there. Now, in case you are living in a rock, although even in a rock you would know <laughs> that the earth is basically dying. And who is to blame? Me and you. So how do we fix it? The answer is sustainable living. Now, what is sustainable living? I will go to Wikipedia because I'm one of those people who, if I try to explain something to you, we will go round and round and round. <laughs> so to keep the video short, from Wikipedia, the, uh, the definition of sustainable living is a lifestyle that attempts to reduce an individual's or society's use of the earth's natural resources and one's personal resources. Get it? Yeah, that's sustainable living. So how can we live more sustainably? While I was doing this research, I found out that actually sustainable living saves you so much money. You know, as you are saving the planet, you are also saving your money. So things that are reusable, for example, reusable plates, cups, as opposed to using the paper plates, reusable containers to pack food instead of the polythene bags that you throw away, reusable shopping bags, you know that one kyondo that you use? I have a really cute Queen Sono one that I normally go shopping with and I reuse it multiple times as opposed to buying a new one and throwing it away each time. So yeah, that is one way. Number two, LED bulbs. Um, these are energy saving bulbs. I'll insert a picture of an LED bulb right here The ones that we have at home are not really the cutest, but they save power Therefore saving your coins as well number three saving water, you know, like in the shower guys You don't perform an entire album. We're keeping it to singles when you're brushing your teeth you turn off the the tap as you're brushing you know in between your brushes that also helps to save. Another way is by reducing your carbon footprint. So what is your carbon footprint? Basically, these are the gases that are emitted, the greenhouse gases that are emitted into the environment when you do certain things, for example, carbon dioxide. So when you're driving to work, taking the bus to work, those gases that are emitted, yeah, they're messing up the environment. The other thing that actually surprised me is veganism so being a vegan is different from being a vegetarian in that vegetarians only don't eat meat but if you're a vegan anything that is an animal product is xed so what we are going to do on today's video is test how sustainable or rather let me rephrase this is going to test sustainable living so we're going to test a bunch of different things in today's video and hopefully learn as we get entertained so let's get straight into the video so we're going to divide this into two sections number one we're going to test out reusable things and then in the second round we are going to test out vegan food items and i'm hungry so i am ready honey <laughs> so the first reusable thing we're going to test out are reusable straws now we all know the plastic straws they were killing the turtles they were hurting them so a lot of restaurants actually right now use the paper straws it's actually been a really really long time since someone handed me a plastic straw so good good on us we're doing a good job there so the plastic the reusable straws that i have are these two right here this one is a wooden one um it was given in a johnny walker hamper that i received i don't know how clear it is but that's how it looks like and it comes with a brush to clean it on the inside and then the other one that i have came in this bag right here this is from green Thing. everything that is mentioned in this video will be linked in the description so this one is a smoothie straw it's wider than this other one and it's rose gold so so cute like that and it also comes with a brush to clean it so this one since i was given in a hamper i don't know how much it costs but this one goes for about 250 kenyan shillings and if you are using it because i'm sure it will last a pretty long time if you're using and reusing i think the 250 shillings is really worth it so what are we testing out today so first before this i washed both of them so i want to test out if when i drink from them again 
we like taste soap because I cleaned it with the you see like what I even splashed out. Um, I cleaned them with the Dettol soap because I was like that one. If it's still in my drink, I will definitely taste it. So I want to test out to test if you know you still taste some soap residue when you use it. Another thing is how clean it gets. So I'm going to go make a smoothie. Then I'm going to come back with it and then we drink from it. Then we're going to wash it and then drink some plain water and see if. It really got clean, okay? Because I'm assuming, eh, hey, these ones can really have bad dirt in there. So yeah, let me come back with my smoothie. Okay, so here we go. In here we have um, banana, mango, apples, milk, some ice that I also blended in there, and strawberry flavored protein powder this is how she looks like she thick Ashley <laughs> Ashley hey because she thick 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 my bed is just snitching on me over here <laughs> but yeah here is the shake oh she she thick thick how are you recording imagine if I, how we are recording Mm. It took a minute for it to get up, but it's there. I don't taste the soap. Which I was like, will I be able to really clean it well on the inside? So I don't taste the soap that I used, which is awesome. I also like that it's a bendy one. There was options of a bendy one and a straight one. I just thought a bending one would stay like this on glasses better as opposed to, you know, straight. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell you guys, videos where I get to eat and call it work, my favorite. <laughs> mm, God. Now let's go wash this together and see how um, it performs after with a plain glass of water to see if any of the smoothie residue will be left on the inside. Let's go. So here is our straw cleaned to the best of my ability it was quite difficult to pass it through um, the bendy part so I'm guessing a, like a straight straw would be easier to clean so here I am with my glass of water lol a shiva's glass shiva's glass johnny walker straw I mean wine brands gin brands if you're watching this don't get the wrong idea <laughs> I don't even like whiskey <laughs> so yeah let me drink and see if all the smoothie came out yeah it did it did it definitely did i can't taste any of it so yeah i think i would definitely use this at home i don't think i would go to the extent of um packing it in my bag even if it comes in a really cute bag and going with it to restaurants though my brother he's in school in malaysia shout out to keep if you're watching this <laughs> when he comes back we'll make so many videos i know you guys really loved those videos so yeah um where he schools at they actually carry their straws like you buy the three pack and when you're going to like the cafeteria and places you just go with your straw i don't think here in kenya we have reached that point yet but for at home i would definitely definitely use this mm. on to the next item so number two on the reusable list we have reusable makeup pads now the makeup industry is responsible for such a huge chunk of the waste that's out there because you can imagine how many wet wipes do you use to remove your makeup how many cotton rounds do you use to remove your makeup so typically this is what i would usually use this is a recycled jar from a pr package that i got and typically i feel like you've all seen this before but typically i will use one on each eye and about two for the rest of my face that is four each time i wear makeup and now that i'm not in school i'm ending up filming a lot for tiktok for instagram so i wear makeup 
a lot so that is a lot of cotton rounds now what can replace this is a reusable cotton pad which i struggled to find one locally but i found one there's no brand on it it's just written clean sponge and i tell you guys it is soft it is so soft it goes for about 720 or 800 bob yeah let, let's actually compare that to the price of cotton rounds and see how many packets it would take to replace it okay so i just went to zoomia on the carrefour app and i found the makeup pads that i normally use uh can you see here they are and it costs 373 kenyan shillings so if i can switch to this i use about one each month so if i can use this for about three months that would be already i've gotten back my money for the cotton rounds and after that i'm saving on cotton rounds my only worry is one of course how well will it remove my makeup number two how stained will it get because foundation really really stains it would stain some of my makeup brushes how long will i be able to use this so yeah let's go to the bathroom and test this out hello and welcome to my bathroom so we're here to take off my makeup i have my reusable uh, makeup remover pad right here usually i apply oil all over and then i go in with either makeup wipes or the cotton rounds to remove everything so we're just going to i guess do that though i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out as we go so let me just i have the most natural lashes on right here <laughs> where they are i'm just going to do the same process of applying oil i use this cousin's baby oil hey and you know i have plans after this you know this is love <laughs> so this is love la, 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 la. we're literally taking off the makeup before i actually leave the house okay so i have really hey this sink any minute 10 minutes now 10 minutes okay so i've worked the product into my face as much as i can i'm going to start with one half it's dry uh yeah let's just let, let's wipe it off you can see oh it's really really soft really really soft maybe they had a bunch of different colors to pick from I picked black. Uh, and it's it's really soft on the eyes because I think for the eyes is where I was like, okay, how exactly is this going to work? But it's really guys, it's off. I really thought I would have had to go back in with like micellar water to remove more. Um, but it's about the same amount that I would have gotten from a wet wipe. It's doing a pretty decent job, guys. Okay, so now um, I want to see how it will work here. This is how my face looks like. I think getting it on the eyes is a bit harder because of liner eh, the eyeliner i use does not budge you have to fight with it to come out okay yeah so i want to use micellar water i'm using this one from kanye the one infused with argan oil put a bunch of it in there and then I just wipe. You know what? I was not completely a believer, but I think I'm sold, you guys. 
Let me, let me, let me go check in the mirror. Oh my God. Guys, this thing actually works. <laughs> it works really, really well. I don't think I have even a spot of makeup left. I am surprised. <laughs> I am very pleasantly surprised. Um, let me rinse it off. This is how it looks like. Because I chose a black one. I don't think it will get stained anytime soon. But let me wash it off and then show you guys how it looks after the washing. So guys, this is a cotton round after washing it. And let me tell you guys, I am I'm pleased. I'm very, very pleased. I will definitely 100% be using this i wouldn't completely eliminate the use of wet wipes because i use them to like um clean like even behind my hands and stuff when i'm doing my makeup so i'm not saying i will completely eliminate wet wipes completely completely but sorry the <laughs> the sink is draining um but for the cotton rounds i think guys i think this might be good this might be really good I like it let me use it for a couple of more maybe weeks and then i'll tell you guys if i was actually able to transition from the cotton rounds to this point right here okay so for this next item i have to admit that i got it because i was like excuse me what what and they are reusable tea bags yep you had me right reusable tea bags they're from the same brand as the reusable um what are they called reusable straws the metal straws and I, I don't know what i was expecting but it was not this <laughs> this is what i got in there so they come a pack of four like this and if you look at it it's really just like a mesh are we focused yeah, it's really kind of like a meshed bag so from the pictures I've seen, you're just supposed to put your tea leaves in here, you move it back, and then you steep your tea. Though, hey, this one, I do it. This one, I'm a bit, like, questioning. And it's also really tight to, it's hard to pull the string. You have to really put in, like, strength for it to tie up. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. But we're giving it a try. Open mind. Let's go make some masala tea. is our tea you guys and our reusable tea bag still in there now i noticed that there are some specks of tea leaves at the top i'm not sure it's if it's from inside the bag or maybe i could have gotten some of it on there when i was pouring in the tea leaves but then there's definitely like some specks of tea leaves over there and i'm the kind of person with yo my gag reflex yo <laughs> it does not play if i'm drinking something that's supposed to be smooth and then i feel things floating on the inside i just feel yeah so but i don't think it's from inside the bag because if it could have been then there would have been a lot more i don't know in it so this is how the tea no guys it's definitely because those tea leaves are really really fine and i can see them even at the bottom of the cup so i don't think it's doing a really good job at keeping like a hundred percent of the leaves inside the bag but then most of them are still in there as you can see now the only thing that really really worries me about this bag is hygiene because what do you do with it afterwards do you throw it in the washing machine do you boil them afterwards uh yeah so if you are using this please leave a comment let me know how you go about it because i'm very very curious but other than that it looks like the tea has tipped well 
yeah just tastes like it would from a tea bag they are the only thing is the hygiene thing but other than that they would be great to use actually since we are already here let's go wash that tea bag and see how clean it will get So here is the difference between the used and unused um, reusable tea bags. As you can see, I don't think it's that clear on camera, but especially at the bottom, I turned it inside out so that we can see. It got stained, which I guess is expected, but it's definitely clean. So if you do decide to start using this, just know that they will not <laughs> remain white unless I guess you bleach them. Okay, so those were just literally three reusable items that we tried out, but there are a bunch more out there. This page with the, what are they called, with the straws and the reusable tea bags, they have so many green living products. I leave them in the description bar. Go ahead, check them out, see if there's anything that you can try out and maybe continue to use so that you can, you know, we do our part <laughs> with saving the environment. Um, they also had this um, cotton rounds. Of course, those are not reusable, like the earbuds. Yes, earbuds. They had wooden sticks instead of the plastic ones because, you know, plastic is bad for the environment. So, yeah, do check them out. Do get yourself something if you are interested. So for the second section of this video, we are going to the food part. My favorite part. We all know I love to eat. Don't ask me chakula huenda wapi. I don't know. I don't know. Ask Jesus. Ask Jesus. <laughs> so we're going to be making two items. The first ones are vegan pancakes, which looks pretty simple to make. And the other ones are vegan chicken wings which i really do feel some type of way you know as a chicken wing enthusiast i do not know how <laughs> we can make vegan chicken wings but again going into this with an open mind let's go see how it goes okay so now we're in the kitchen and i'm sure someone is wondering what is so vegan about the pancakes that we're making today well if you remember vegan food does not have any animal products in them so that means there is no <laughs> basically any of the good things so we can't put in butter we can't put in eggs and we can't also put milk that is from an animal so yeah it's going to be a very interesting experience i will link the recipe in the description bar because this is less of a tutorial and more of a review of the items but i do want to do a taste test of the almond milk because i've never had almond milk before this is the bottle they had different ones they had this plain almond oil they had an unsweetened version and also a chocolate one i don't like even milk from a cow so i'm not sure if i'm going to like milk from almonds any better but let's see it smells better than um cow milk for sure it actually almost doesn't have a smell also the color is a bit more can you see it's a bit more brown oh it has a smell it smells nutty very nutty it just tastes like imagine the normal tuzo milk if you were to maybe shaga some, what are they called, njugu in there, that's what it is like, just like normal milk but with a nutty flavor. So yeah, let's make the pancakes. Guys, <laughs> there's a reason we do beauty on this channel and not cooking. And this is exhibit A because my pancake really looks nothing like the other woman's pancakes <laughs> but you know what it's fine apologies to my future kids because i will not be the auntie children come to for good food but will definitely be the auntie that has cool things at home so my pancakes didn't get as fluffy as hers but i think i didn't put enough baking powder probably but let's let's try this and see how it is I'm just going to 
cut a piece with my fingers. Oh wow! That is actually good. You can't tell that there is no eggs in this. Actually, I like it this. I can keep eating. Let me try it with some honey on there. Just going to keep it in some honey. Oh, these are good. I like this. By the way, hashtag shameless plug. My dad sells honey, hashtag Ziggs Raw Honey. I will link it in the description bar in case you're interested in honey. On to our second dish, which will be the vegan wings. And I feel like I feel personally attacked <laughs> by this one. But you know what, like we said, open mind, we're trying this. So instead of actual chicken, this is what we are going to be using it is cauliflower so this is going to act as the meat substitute i really doubt this will taste like chicken because only meat tastes like meat you know but this other recipe this one this one was really good my mom actually tried it she couldn't even guess that there were no um, eggs in this so it's really good and as you can see this is all i have left of it which i'm going to put in my mouth as soon as we finish talking so yeah let's get into the vegan chicken recipe been filming since morning i am tired i thought these um cauliflower wings would turn out good but i really i, I doubt it but at this point we have established not the recipe so i'm um, going to try one out first of all mine did not come out crunchy like the ones on the youtube video uh because of my braces I can't, like they're still fresh, it's two weeks tomorrow, I can't still bite into things, so I'm just going to cut it, of which I guess it's a good thing they didn't come out crunchy because I would not have been able to try them. So yeah, let me try. Well, <laughs> definitely the non jaboga, not like chicken, it definitely just tastes like vegetables but it's not nasty like i would not mind eating this yeah it's actually it's actually good it's good for vegetables for vegetables i will give it a yes but not as a replacement for chicken wings <laughs> yeah they taste they taste nice i wish they were crunchier i will try them again then um I'll let you guys know if i'm able to make them crunchy so that is it for this week's video i really 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 enjoyed filming this video so i hope that you enjoy watching it as much as i did if i've learned anything from this video is that all these um sustainable living products and vegan eating it's not as bad as we think that they are you know usually think that it's such a struggle for example the pancakes i didn't expect them to taste that good like you could not tell that there was no cow milk and no eggs inside there the cauliflower wings those ones <laughs> maybe i make them again and try to make them crunchy and they will be deceived but yeah i think we can all find one or two things here and there that we can change about our lifestyle just so that we can all be doing our part in everything so don't forget to like 
comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every week always remember to work hard and have good intentions what up t-shirt reference <laughs> bye guys Bye.